Oh boy. Here we go. Here I thought this would be a game that I was gonna be playing constantly. I was I was really looking forward to this. And it, we end up crawling through it at a rate of like one stream per month. With a lot of stuff that I'm doing off stream as well, but there's there's just so much of it. It takes so long to catch up between streams. And I still didn't fully. Like, I got... I, I, I made progress. I got through a lot of it. I didn't quite get these last two levels. I, th I think this Dingo Dial one was the one with like 500 crates or something. Just crazy like that. But... I'm still gonna keep moving. I'm still gonna keep unlocking stuff. Uh, I looked down at the second row. Apparently, Coco has her own set of flashback tapes. So, like, Crash has a bunch, and then Coco has a bunch. I, I didn't realize that before now. And I assume that they'll be locked in order- uh, unlocked in order. Uh, unlock some new skins. Yeah, you're the booty seeker. Hello, Darian. Go ahead with, uh, fully 80s Eddie Murphy crash. <laughs> and start with the one flashback tape I've gotten. There was one in Run It By You, I believe, that I haven't gotten around to getting yet, so, uh... I only got one new flashback tape between the previous stream and this one. It was just only one that we had missed amongst all those levels. World domination is a slow and laborious process. Now. Okay, what, what are we doing? How are we doing this? Hmm. Uh. That's not how. Wait, idea. Aha! The cheese! I gotta, I gotta keep an eye out just in case there's anything uh, sneakily hidden. I, I can't even trust these levels not to have something. Subject, do you think I'm too hard on Andrio? I worry about him. No. If anything, he doesn't suffer enough. Crash's swag is too much for this stage. That's right, we don't get to see it in full. He does have a, a, a nice purple glow for these stages. Oh boy. Uh... Where am I landing? Oh, okay, that'll work. That's fine. This is fine. Interesting interaction. I'll take it. There's some weird things you can do to land on the bounce boxes without box bouncing. Or boxing. Like this. I can walk on these. This isn't an issue. I mean, I say it's not an issue. <laughs> At least I don't have to do these without dying. To my knowledge, there's no reward for clearing these without dying. These are just a precursor to Crash Maker. It'd be nice. 
There would have to be a 3D mode, though. You, like, you couldn't just do a 2D crash maker. every time uh i buckled I, w I was short on games to play so i bought what i've been talking about recently i got uh, dragon quest builders 2 started playing it today enjoying it so far it's a good game i also booted up trials which has a very speckled history with me and jack we did Trials... I think we did a video on, like, Trials Fusion on the Jax channel. I did Trials 1. I did a stream of that. And, uh, we did a stream of the most recent Trials game when it had an open beta. Which had, like, a tandem bike co-op mode. And I just kind of, I never got around to any more of the series. So I'm thinking I will probably, I bought, uh, I bought Trials 2, which is very cheap. And I'll probably do a solo stream of that in the near future. I think the order is like, uh, Trials 2, Trials Unleashed, and then Trials Fusion? I'll have to look it up. I now have the entire series. And I just only streamed the first one. Probably should have explained what Trials is. It's not a. It's not a extremely well-known series. It's what inspired Happy Wheels. Basically, Happy Wheels ripped it off, and uh, became, I guess, the more well-known of the two, because it was wacky and gory and violent. And, and YouTuber bait as a result. Uh oh. So how long are we gonna spend on this level? Also got uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon online up and running again. So, upcoming stream of me and Jack and Bacon Bomb doing that. Shh. No penalty for dying and no extra reward. Well, I knew that you could... There was no penalty for dying. As far as we, I knew, there was no... Uh, there was no equivalent of, like, the insane run relics for these. But I keep discovering new unlockables between streams. Oh, and for the zero people who still remember my stream of Trials 1, I booted it up today and I actually finished the level that I, I couldn't do in, in that stream. I beat Mr. Frosty. cool thing of Red Links to have done is to uh, compile all of the original Trials 1 versions and variants. Because there were a bunch of them. It was like a series of Flash games or something like that. And they compiled it all into like a standalone executable and put it up for free on their website. Good guys, Red Links. I'll surprise Andrea with a nice dinner. Andrea! Oh boy. Oh boy. Somehow that worked. Do I trust it? I guess I have to. That That's a nice Cortex monitor down there, isn't it? It's just like a still image. It's one of those uh, digital photo frames. 
he just put it on the wall with a nice smiling picture of himself. Got it. Exceptional work. That was a very lenient hitbox. I still think the Mardi Gras level was a favorite of mine. That was very cool looking. This whole world is cool looking. It's got a lot of variety. Despite all taking place in like a Louisiana setting, it's got like the New Orleans city, it's got the swamp, and it's got, uh, it has like a canal. Every, every level is a different setting. Which isn't that important for Crash. Crash uses settings a lot, but it's neat. All right. This is where we left off, the 11th Dimension in 1954, which, am I misremembering, or is that where the twins from Insanity, or Twin Sanity are from? Oh, wait, no. I wanted to, I wanted to change skins, I'll have to back out again. It was either the 11th or the Nth Dimension. Which might also be a world in this game. Nope, don't care. Cancel. Exit. It was the wrong crash. This didn't count. You know what? We just came out of the swamp, so we have to have uh, we have to have Mardi Gras costumes. This is important. There we go. What up? Ball and Wonder Coco. Oh, I also got all the uh, color gems between streams, so we do not have to worry about missing any of those. All right, Crash and Coco just got done with spring break. They're back from Mardi Gras. They got their costumes still on. What are we doing in the snow? Crash Bandicoot, you banished me to the past, but all it did was give me more time to plan your doom. You'll find me up the mountain. Don't freeze on the way! Well, you know, I'm, I'm sensing a real fraught history here. How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. Really? Only three? <laughs> Funny. Seemed like more. It seems vaguely desynced. Well, let me let me tweak something. There we go. This capture card is a little finicky with uh, how the game audio needs to be set up. All right. Well, I will. I will attempt 100% until I prove unable to. Okay. So we can time slow. What is that? It's like uh, it's like a drowned from Minecraft. It's a zo it's a zombie fisher man. That's a stylin' mask, by the way. I like that Empress Coco. Although it overrides my Mardi Gras outfit. Oh, I see. Coco is now the Flash from DC Comics. No little known character. We don't know which dimension Crash is in. Well, the twins are from the 10th dimension. Okay. This is new. We have no idea what 11th dimension is.
Is he... It's a swordfish harpoon? Okay. Good time slow, but that's for babies. I don't need no time slow for these guys. Empress's new groove. Showed me that, uh, showed me that Yzma Sailor Moon. Boy, I didn't need to see that. I'm now picturing Eartha Kit shouting, Moon Tiara action! Oh boy. Is this... Did they replicate the creep from Wrath of Cortex? Can I slow time to walk across these nitros, is what I'm wondering. They bought- they brought the creep back. Kind of. Okay. Okay, I- I, I get it. You outrun the explosion. That is the most action movie platforming game element I've ever seen. Oh, I can bounce on them. This is cool. I like this. <gasps> I like the interaction with nitro crates more than I like having to rush for these stupid timer blocks. I also like how every mask has their own variant of, of the rutabaga. This one's just an old, vaguely Asian woman shouting it. <gasps> I, I gotta stop being surprised at my own failure. Kinda doesn't sound any different from the... the Invader Zim guy mask. It's, okay, it's the ice physics. It's the fact that I'm jumping off of a, an ice platform that keeps messing with my moment momentum here. It's adding unexpected momentum to my jump. And Crash Bandicoot Ice has never been, uh, never been great. Maybe this is better than previous Crash Ice. And Oh, it's a metal crate. I thought I was going to bounce on it. This ice, though. I hope there was nothing up there. I, sh I should have done a, a crouch double jump, just to be sure. <gasps> I don't think it's trial and error. Like, you can see what you need to do. It's just a matter of being good enough to do it. Which is a tall order! <sighs> Get the last one! Why? 
is a, this is a lot of button inputs to manage at once. Okay, I got them all. There's not a serious cooldown on this. Like there is on the Hat and Time time slow. That has a considerable cooldown on it. This you can use again pretty much immediately. Not worth it. Alright. Oh boy, I can't wait to do all this to get to the end of the level and be missing a crate. I make that joke every stream, and every stream it comes true. Oh boy. Okay, uh, that worked. I thought I still had the time slow mask, and I do not. Okay, so this is the world where we unlock the ability to play as Cortex. Oh boy, that's real slow. That's slower than I thought it would be. I wish it was a little more obvious when you got and lost the mask. I kind of have trouble telling sometimes. Oh, there's a flashback tape there. Okay. Where do these go? How far can I ride these? Pretty far. There's something hiding around here? There is. There's some sneaky beaky crates. I knew there would be. There's no way they would let you ride this far down without hiding something. Oh boy. Okay, here's more stuff. That ice momentum. Oh boy, I hate it. Like, it's my natural reaction to jump a lot on ice. To, like, minimize how much I'm, uh... You know what? You're fine. Just minding your own business. He's here on a boat. Not bothering anyone. Is that a Madagascar penguin? Like, that doesn't just look like any penguin. That looks specifically like one of the penguins from Madagascar. Uh, I was saying it's my, uh, my instinct to jump a lot on ice. Just because, I, I guess I figure, like, if I stand on it, it gives me the chance to lose my, uh, for momentum to pick up. It's hard to explain. That's usually how it works with ice and platforming games. Although, I guess, realistically speaking, jumping on ice would be the worst thing for you to do. Crash Bandicoot is all about realism. Go 
was made by Toys for Bob who made the Madagascar games. I guess I, I, I probably knew there was Madagascar games. I didn't know who in particular made them. Anything about toys for Bob prior to uh, Skylanders? Oh boy! Hope there was nothing up there. these fishermen got against me? Slash fishermen zombies. I like these boat guys, though. They, they can stay. They're not bothering me. This guy's got a crate. I need that. Sorry. game was actually pretty solid. Was it, uh, platformer? I can see how far those let you flow backwards. I did. I rode them all the way to the waterfall. They started going off. How come my weight doesn't count if I'm on top of a box? What physics is that? Now and behold, the prophecy has been fulfilled! I would, have got, I would have gotten all six gems in one go if I'd gotten that one single last box. I, to, I dread coming back to this game. Like, I have not been playing it as much as I thought I would because it, uh... Every, every level is just me having to look up a guide and watch someone else play through it for all 300 to 500 crates. Just to be sure that I'm not wasting my time. And then doing a half hour run to get all the crates, and then doing another half hour run in the inverse version. And then another one, because I gotta, I gotta spend an hour to do a run without dying for the insane relic. So we got swimmer Coco. It's just it's such a time investment. I can't just I, I can't rely on just being very thorough. 
and finding everything. Because it's just too mean. There he is again. There's that motherfucker. There he goes. Kowalski. Analysis. Pacifist run. Oh boy, there's sharks. Ice sharks. Could exit the level and re-enter to reset my lives, which would give me a better chance at the uh, less than three deaths gem. Still annoying that they make you do that instead of just always counting it as starting at zero, as long as you start from the beginning of the level. I like the Crash games, but there's always, like, some fairly obvious seeming quality of life stuff that goes missed. Like, for example, having a reset button on the motorcycle levels in Crash 3. Or removing the other, the enemy racers from the track for time trials. That would have been just lovely. Necessary, some might even say. yesterday. So he is covering today. He's doing all right, just trying to take it easy for a bit. Classic crashy music. Got the uh, pizzicato. Got the little uh, little chimes that go with ice levels. We need a didgeridoo. I don't think I've heard one in this game yet. We gotta have the the threatening wow for a boulder level. We haven't had a boulder level yet. I, well. No, we've had chase levels in this. I don't remember what we ran from, but I do remember running from something. It was the... it was engines. Like Mad Max truck. Uh... I guess this is the harder route, because it's got the skull on it. I also assume that I can't spin those guys. 
They look spiky and or explosive. Oh boy, where are we going? What are we doing? <gasps> oh, those fall. Well, that's a very short route compared to the skull path. It's just one box, that's fine. Again, it's pointless for me doing this. Because I'm gonna do all this, and then I'm gonna get to the end and be missing a box anyway. But I'm still gonna try. Because, damn it, I, I always give it the old college try. Okay, I'll just, I'll do the skull path, and I'll go back down for that one singular box. Boy, is that what the scientist dudes sound like? I miss when they had the, the, the yell. You know the one. I like how when that mask appears, she's sassy, like, mm-hmm. Oh, I had to swing. Lost Bits video about Crash 2 and the ruins levels used to be signs that told you the easy hard path. Ruins levels. Like Road to Ruin, Ruination, those levels? And Anal Zelrog isn't enough though. He's not up to these streams. It's it's not... I am not anal retentive enough. I still miss stuff. As thorough as I try to be. And... look of this this place kind of gives me Ratchet and Clank vibes. Looks like a, a, a industrialized snow planet that you would see in one of the Ratchet and Clank games. put the checkpoint, like, immediately before? You gotta make me do this over again every time. Like, right here. Put the checkpoint here. That would be nice. I'd have loved that. That was a, a poor choice. Having some trouble finding the uh, magic touch for those doors. I, 
think it was a thing in uh, Crash 3. Where if you died enough... It would add a checkpoint. Like, it would, it would replace an existing question mark box with a checkpoint box. That was another uh, difficulty adjustment feature, in addition to the pity masks. Oh, speaking of... That was, again, poor timing. I just, I don't know when I'm supposed to do it. I don't have the necessary future sight. This makes things a little faster, at least. Judy mask. <laughs> I got Star Trek doored. If I just stop it when it's open, that seems to be a generally good practice for getting through. Uh. Wait, this is the most times I've died on a level that I can recall. I miss the Ratchet games. I want to continue them. Unfortunately, PS2 emulation is extremely unforgiving. Somehow. Like, mine and Jack's computers can't handle it, but Darian's laptop can. It must just be, like, uh, it must just be an architecture thing. I know some graphic cards just, for whatever reason, struggle with certain programs or tasks where others don't. fruit counting and I don't I didn't even get the I lost a mask on the way don't even get him this time and beans and fruit and veg. That's the way to do it. Looking forward to cracked up knees for Metopion Switch. I don't know that I plan to get it.
I think I had my fill of Metopia on 3DS. So tight. It's also kind of the nature of the game, I suppose. Like, part of the appeal of making characters in uh, Mod Nation Rachers, which had, which had a very similar, very similarly in-depth character creator tool as Metopia now does. Like they had, uh, they had little, uh, they had leaderboards in a in a lobby where you could see the most popular me's of the day or week or whatever. So you had a chance of your creations, like, uh, you know, getting noticed. And it was an online multiplayer game, so you could choose to, you know, they're. Your playable characters. You can race with them online, show them off to people. Metopia is just kind of random. Like, you'll get your file full of a bunch of things people have made. And your things will be online for people to see, but no, no one looks up who made the Miis or anything. There's no prestige in making a particularly good me. Maybe that's a narcissistic way to look at it. I mean, if I'm if I'm gonna put that much work into a character, God, that's stupid. I I don't like that exclamation crate. I want to do it though. I want to at least try to get all the crates I can see. Did I not get three? I guess I didn't. that in time. Do I have to spin? I also seem to have stopped getting pity masks. I'm no longer getting the uh, triple when I reach that mask crate. The game stopped having pity on me somewhere along the line. Like, okay, now it's just self-inflicted. Now it's his fault. Maybe I can't stop time. Maybe if I stop time, it'll, I think it, it'll just be too slow to activate if I do. I just need, I, I need, like, good reflexes for that one.
I got it. Okay. Hey, we did it. Now we can finally get to the end of the level and be missing that crate. Implemented a crates by sector thing. That'd be nice. These levels are like extremely long compared to previous crash games. Spyro didn't even have that, and it had uh, or Spyro 3 specifically had levels that were separated into multiple different areas that you would access with portals. Which made collecting everything very, very difficult in Spyro 3 because you only had the total of collectibles for the entire level. So you had no way of knowing which of the sectors you had missed a gem in. It could have been any of them. What are you? Are they growing, the fishermen? In test tubes? Okay. We got lore. When it comes to game design, I'm of the belief that compartmentalization is a good thing. It's always good to have your challenges split into small digestible uh, portions. As is my argument for checkpoints in Mario Maker. Oh boy. Uh Hmm. Did I did I mess up already? I think I was not supposed to activate that uh, exclamation crate. How how are we going to do this? That's the one that I shouldn't have activated. I think. Maybe it's not. It is not the one that I need to worry about. Not a lot of safety space there. Missed the mark. I might be... I think I can beat that time. Even if I don't, uh... Skip a jump.
so this is the point that I can't talk because I gotta focus on not dying to nitros that it wants me to jump on. At least, at least it's fast. At least I don't have to tiptoe across them. So there's that, that's nice. What? Okay, I touched it apparently. It's worth reiterating that I really don't like or fully understand these ice physics. I get so much momentum just from nudging the stick very slightly before I jump. Maybe I can beat that. Maybe I can't. I might have to, though. I don't know if I can make it back afterwards. finish this. Maybe an idea occurs. That was probably not the thing to do. Let's find out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I cannot, uh, I can't make it back if I blow up that middle crate. So I either have to keep all of the nitros intact and make it across, or more likely, I just have to race it. I don't like the, this unsafe platform. I just want a place to stand while the nitros blow up. I think we've got two or three worlds left after this one yet. Boy, if it gets too bad, I might have to just, like, uh... I might have to just start going through the levels and not worrying about crates. That would, that would be piss easy, though. I'd spend like five minutes per level that way. Got it. All right, we did it. Now to not die. Oh, please don't die, me. I see those icicles up there. They're not hiding. Saw him? Didn't matter. Can I get an mm-mm? Well, we know what to do, at least. There's no ambiguity about that. Nope. Cancel on that one. Can I reset those? They're supposed to be simultaneous, right? I feel like suffering.
Quickly, the novelty will uh, wear off. People doing Utopia streams. I imagine everyone's gonna watch. They're gonna pick one streamer to watch a playthrough of. And that kind of happens with any game, I suppose. Especially something that's like an RPG. People tend to not watch multiple run-throughs of. But especially in the case of Miitopia, because you're gonna see it draws the Mii's randomly from online. So you're gonna see a lot of the same Mii's. You're gonna see a lot of the same Peter Griffins and Clevelands and Homers and Thanoses. $19 Fortnite cards. You're gonna see a lot of the same designs across different uh, streamers' playthroughs, I imagine. If I played it, I would make all my own, as I did. Well, that's just the playable characters, though. We, we drew from online for the NPCs. You kind of have to, just because of how many of them there are. Did we do it? Hated that. There's probably a nitro crate at the end of the level. I just, I wanted to be really sure just in case. Because, you know, I have the ability to blow up nitros with the mask, so they might expect me to. if I spin a nitro while I have time slowed? Is there still like a split second before it goes off? This wouldn't benefit me in, me in any way. I'm just curious now. Yes, there's still a split second before it is able to explode. And you can safely spin nitro crates in this game. Crazy. slow motion, I can't bonk my head on those. Do you think the Flash has this much trouble navigating dangerous scenarios in slow motion? Like, yeah, you, everything is slow motion, but there's still stuff that can kill you. At least in this, in this case, there is. I had it. 
Man, I had it. I was at the end. I had one more nitro crate. I don't even know if I had to blow it up, but I, I chose to be safe, quote unquote. spending on this level. This is going to be the level, isn't it? We're, we're going to spend an hour here. Get this level, just this bonus stage. We're getting through the, the beginning consistently now, at least. Amazing how I did that on my very first try, isn't it? Isn't that amazing, highlights reel? spin the sharks. And I've spun bigger things in previous crash games. How come I can't spin the sharks? Oh, it's even got the little, uh, it's got the little motif from the Crash 2 ice music. I just heard it in there. No wonder it sounds Crash-like. They just copied previous Crash music. bit unforgiving, this section. They don't mess around here, these ice flows. I think I can cross those gaps with a, uh, a slide double jump, though. This reminds me of that, uh, that Eggman fight. Where all you ha all you have are uh, platforms in lava. Three. Well, it was an hour well spent. You know, for fucking nothing.
Yeah, I can beat that in under three attempts. What did I do? 33 deaths? Ah, it's, it's a pittance away. Let's go back. Let's do it until we only get... With, do we get through it in one life? We gotta get that insanely perfect relic. All right, where's Cortex? I know he's coming. Hmm. Arr, I'm on the search for Cortex booty. There was a lot of Cortex booty in Twin Sanity. I'm out for that booty again. I guess he has a time traveling blimp. Cortex isn't that old. He wasn't around with a blimp in 1954. Mate, you know, you could have just had, like, rolling boulders doing this job. It seems a little, uh, excessive to have RC drones moving back and forth in a predictable rolling pattern. Like, there are ways to automate that. I saw my, uh, first ever automated flagger last week. Like, they had a little portable machine with uh, red lights and red, red and green lights. Flagging people through a construction zone. Instead of an, a person with a, uh, you know, the orange stop sign. Which seems like something that's probably existed for a while. I just, I'd never seen one before that. Err, me, me timbers are shivering. Okay, we got spinning weight platforms! And I just jumped right off. Like, look at this pattern. This could have so easily been the rolling, like, circles. Jungle rollers. Boy, Crash 2, or er, Crash Bandicoot Ice was always a pain. This sure lives up to that. It is just as bad as I remember. You know what still bothers me to this day? The fact that they replaced the line in the Funimation intro to One Piece. Where Gold Roger says, I left, I left all my treasure in One Piece. You know, the namesake of the treasure and the series. 
uh, the, the most single most important piece of dialogue in the series. And they replaced it with one place. Who thought that was a good idea? Did they pay that person? And can they unpay them? That's like renaming the Dragon Balls in Dragon Ball. Four kids got it right. They had the intro narrative with uh, all my treasure in one pl one piece. Actually, four kids had a pretty good Gold Roger. It was a much uh, deeper, more menacing Gold Roger than the than the uh, Funimation "Yar Talk Like a Pirate" day Gold Roger, which is appropriate for Gold Roger. There's this generic pirate voice. Uh oh, I probably just uh, I probably just missed something by accidentally doing that sequence. Also, yep. Knew there was something hiding. I saw it. Yeah, screw it. We'll get the yellow gun platform. Yeah, just rename the whole series. Call it One Place. Shanks had a heavy Australian accent. I would have thought he was Scottish. Was he Australian in Four Kids? I watched the Four Kids dub. As much of it as was made. Once in my life. In my adult life. Just to see it. Just to say I did. I don't remember much of it. We, uh, we, we rode to nowhere now. Can I walk on the sides? I don't think I can walk on the sides. Attempting it was probably a fool's errand. Wait, isn't this the music? Isn't this adapted from the, the, the bridge in Crash 1 levels music? This sounds very similar. Even worse, the uh, planks are not color-coded. Like they were in the bridge levels. Oh boy. So I can't immediately tell which ones are gonna break. Immediately upon landing or not. Not quickly. I can tell if I, like, stop and look at them, like this. That's it, huh? They're just crates? Okay. So that's just extra crates that uh, I will need to get the all crates gem. Which means I'll have to do the entire normal level and that gem path without dying in order to get the insanely perfect run relic. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Time slow, only a recommendation. Going this way? Or are we going to the right? This seems like a bonus path. Maybe, maybe not. 
Well, what's over to the right, then? I don't want to miss stuff. Oh, that's right. There's more crates if I lift them this way. Bet there's not. What, what is this? Pipes of nitro juice? Everything's exploding. I'll have to wait to see what he's missed because the, the bonus area is here. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, I didn't want to do that. some of the best black ladies in cartoons. I want to say Sugar Mama from the Proud Families up there. Sugar Mama was great. I did it again! I, I see the thing and I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'll bet I can hit that without hitting the nitro crate. Yeah, that's what they want me to do. Oh, it's a trap. Okay, so I should get these crates, and then I should go back. And I should hit the thing. That's what I'm supposed to do. much of Total Drama Island. I watched it on and off when it was on Cartoon Network. Oh, here we go. Missed a crate. Hunter Hunter had a couple black characters. Hunter Hunter, in particular, generally does pretty well with representation. There's not a whole lot of black characters in anime. A woe that I often hear reflected by black cosplayers. get one shot at these crates. Ah! If I do that jump, then I have to veer far left, is what I have to do. Come on, die. 
Crash, please. Cooperate. That was a cool double jump, but please die. Veer, nope, not left yet. I gotta get past the rocks before I veer left. Once again, this is effort that is surely being spent in vain. I already even have an idea of where I might have missed crates on this level. But maybe we'll get lucky. It's like gambling. There's always a chance. Maybe Anal Zelrog will be enough for this level. Maybe we will get everything. For one of the, like, eight levels we do this stream. Maybe we'll actually get all the crates. seasons were there of Total Drama Island? Was it just the one? I know there were multiple shows. There was like, there was a... There were spin-offs and other variants, but I don't remember if the original show, Total Drama Island, had multiple seasons. I think I remember Owen winning the first one. He was the likable fat guy, right? I, also, I don't remember who voiced Chef. It was either Kevin Michael Richardson or Phil Lamar. I want to say Phil Lamar. I also remember there being a bit about them eating bear testicles. No, bull testicles. Which surprised me seeing that joke on a Cartoon Network primetime show. Ooh, meatballs! In a manner of speaking. Five seasons than a myriad of spin-off shows. What were some of the spin-offs? It was like Total Drama Adventure or something? I also remember the other Canadian... I, I think that was a Canadian animated show. Clay Bennett. Oh, okay. I was uh, just totally off, I guess. I think it was a Canadian animated show, and there were a bunch of shows from that animation studio that uh, Cartoon Network had bought for broadcast at that era. Wasn't that the CN Real era? Like, that was, those were some of the few cartoons they were showing. Was like uh, Total Drama Island 16, I think there was one about mermaids or something, or surf, surfer kids. So that's a late flashback tape. 
And I only get one shot at that. Oh, that's mean to put the put the tape in the bear section. There's a crate up there. Some on the right and then on the left. No, end. Reset. Die. Death. Please? Thank you. Oh, I was worried it was going to send me, like, straight into the gem. So far, the only level that's done that has been the Mardi Gras one. Also, a mean place to put a crate. <laughs> Cortex is pretty good at this. Skiing while shooting at the same time. It's impressive. Not as impressive as Eggman running backwards at 20 miles per hour, punching trucks out of the way. But still pretty impressive. Hey! We got the one! We got the lucky level! Pirate Crash got that booty. World Tour Total Drama Action. I think I remember those. I think I remember seeing Total Drama action a little bit. Building bridges. Right, pirate Coco. Granted, this will be a Tana level, but... Ooh, must have left my jacket in the Bermuda Quadrangle. Qu quadrangle? Lady, that's a square. Wait, huh? But how get up? Oh, I, I, I remember. She's got her thing. Her inaccurate thing. These levels are always mean, with the places they hide crates. Because you have the... the... grapple hook. There's always ones just hiding off in the distance that you have to keep an eye out for. Like that. I see it over there. in real era was so trash there's not even any DVDs of those shows you mean like the the live action shows because there's like uh, there's DVDs of like total drama series I also remember some nudity in that show I wonder if that's uh, if there's uncensored versions of that or if it is just natively censored as it's just a sight gag Oh, come on! I needed that! Okay, I didn't need it. The 
live action shows. Nickelodeon kind of always did those to some degree, but uh, well, I was going to say generally not as many at once, but I guess they did do a lot of them at once, especially around the same era as CN Real. Like, that's the main thing CN Real was trying to compete with, was the, the iCarly's and the Zoe 101's. And Nick always had their live-action game shows, like the... What, was, what were some of them? Figure It Out, Legend of the Hidden Temple. I don't think I ever saw Legends of the Hidden Temple as a kid. I think that was just slightly before my time, but I remember Figure It Out. I remember all that, which led into the Amanda show, which led into Drake and Josh, which led into iCarly, which led into Sam and Cat. It's just this, this weird sequence of shows leading into, into newer versions of shows. Which has happened with other other sitcoms as well. I always forget which show it is, but there's some... There's one old sitcom that led into, like, uh, a whole huge branching family of shows. I think the Steve Urkel show was part of that family. Like, it, it was a spinoff of a spinoff of... All in the family? <laughs> what a voice they give these guys. I said that before, but I'm going to say it again because it's still weird. They're not supposed to sound like nerds, they're supposed to sound like, I, I don't know, screaming men. Canada is one of the places that animation tends to get outsourced to. Not the biggest one. It's I, I, I would say Korea is probably probably the most popular. But there's also cases where animation gets outsourced to Japan or uh, Canada or even South America. I, I can't think of any South American animated shows off the top of my head, or ones whose animation was outsourced to South America. There's some screams in this game. There's some death rattles. What are some Canadian animated shows I've seen, though? It was obviously the Total Drama series and uh, Shaolin Showdown is a big one. I don't know where Jackie Chan Adventures was animated. That might have been in Japan. Jackie Chan actually likes to be pretty personally involved in the shows that, uh, you know, involve him. And he's continuing. He's continued to make them. He had a uh, he had like a 3D Jackie Chan themed kids cartoon running in China after Jackie Chan Adventures. And I think when I looked into it, it hadn't been localized in any way. I don't know if that's changed or not. But it looked like a very bizarre show. It was like. Uh, it was like Code Lyoko Jackie Chan. Like about a kid version of Jackie Chan and a bunch of other kids going into a 3D virtual space. I wish I remembered the name of it.
This is another very demanding section. You can't stop at all. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, that'll help him out. I'll just deliver them a platform of nitros. I'm helping. Which every time this happens, when the Tauna level segues into the original level, it's a harder version of the level, is how it works. So this is now a harder version of the level that we just played. You ever see Hero 108? I don't, that doesn't sound familiar. I might need to look it up. What? Look, look at this crate. It moving. Look at he go. Now look at she go. Oh, this would uh, just the moment this lands would flatten her. I see what they want me to do. I don't like it, but I see it. I'm gonna look this up. I wanna see if maybe I recognize it by appearance. Hero 108. American, British, Taiwanese animated. Oh, it's one of those three-prong series. Like, uh, Totally Spies, the American, Canadian, French. bars in it. Oh, this is a... Uh, I recognize this list of voice actors. This is an ocean dub. Yeah, I don't, I don't recognize it by appearance. I don't think I've ever seen this show, but uh, looking at the voice cast, it was dubbed at Ocean Studios. It has a lot... It shares a lot of cast members with uh, Death Note, Inuyasha, My Little Pony are all uh, ocean dubs. And I say dubs, it's not... They boot. They do both ADR and... Uh, and plain old cartoon voicing. Hello, Ripperoo. Are you in this game? I haven't seen you. That was an interesting way that crate moved, wasn't it? All right, got them all. And we have now a harder polar bear section. By you. Was Ripperoo going to be the the guy running the little the little boat restaurant? But they replaced him with an armadillo? Man, that would have been cool. Ripperoo's doing something different every single game. He goes from being crazy to being a scholar to being I, well I guess that's it. He wasn't in three. And then he was just he was a race car driver like everyone else in Crash Team Racing. And then he was hanging around in Mexico in Crash Bash.
I like the way Crash Bash handled its characters. Like, even though everyone wasn't playable, pretty much all of the characters got to appear at least as level hazards. Like, they got to have their own levels themed after them. In the case of, like, uh, Engine, Ripperoo, etc. Or they got to be proper bosses. I, I love that Crash Bash had bosses. I love that it had a campaign. Mario Party bosses sound cool. A Mario Party with functioning online sounds cool. We might have it. They added online to Mario Party. I don't know how good it is because I haven't seen any streams of it. Also, the main thing that still holds me back from it, from uh, Super Mario Party on the Switch, is the fact that you have to play with Joy-Cons. It might actually require a single Joy-Con. But, uh, unfortunately, Nintendo doesn't know how to make Joy-Cons, so, uh, my only controller option is one with Drift. And I'm not, I'm not too keen about that, especially for full price. how to explain flying TNTs in a good way. Like, TNTs propelled out of cannons, or TNTs with little wings on them like Mario Maker. Unrelated. Boy, they ruined uh, Pinstripe in Crash Team Racing. Man, does he sound not right. I mean, he still sounds like, you know, a stereotypical New York gangster, but... It's not his, uh, his snide, kind of nasally voice from Crash 1. Granted, a lot of voices have changed in Crash 1, but... Of all the characters in Crash 1, Pinstripes was perhaps the most fitting. Actually, I don't remember what he sounded like in Insane Trilogy. I'm sad that we don't have good footage of Crash 1 Insane Trilogy. I, I streamed all three of them. I did the original games and I did Insane Trilogy, but uh, there was like microphone issues for all but the very last stream of Crash 1. So the only like usable footage, I did a death reel of the final level, Stormy Ascent. I never did highlights for the rest of the playthrough because the rest of the playthrough is plagued by audio issues. Boy, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to get through the levels without dying for the relics as well. We're gonna have to be doing all this in perfect runs multiple times over for the relics in this game. Oh man. Well, okay, that that's fine because we won't have to get every single crate. That will be way more bearable. It's the 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 thing that ruins this game is the is the collecting of it's the dick crates. It's the way too obtusely hidden crates that makes me dread coming back to this. I can handle the dip the... I would like it if the levels were a bit shorter. Granted. But I, I, I can handle that. I can handle the difficulty if I need to. 
having to look up a guide for everything because of just how obtuse some of these crates are hidden. It makes me not want to play the game at times. Darian, who's your favorite Crash character? I want to say I'm partial to Coco. I like Coco. She's cute and fun. I did mention I like the way uh, Crash was presented in Crash Nitro Kart. That was the most likable Crash appearance. He was just like a, a fun-loving, cool, silent protagonist guy who was, was generous. He gave people yo-yos. He was a nice guy. You'd want to hang out, hang out with him. Dingo Dial. Right, mate. It's okay. Dingo Dial's also not such a bad guy. See, when he dies in this game, he turns into an angel. He's just misunderstood. Maybe he donates all of his restaurant's proceeds to charity. He must be doing something real good to make up for all of the, lar the arson and villainy he's done over the years. Although, I guess via retcon, that didn't happen. Like, it is now only Crash 1, 2, and 3 are canon. So all Dingo Dial is necessarily guilty of is bullying a penguin with a flamethrower. Oh, I missed one, I think. I'm pretty sure I missed a crate up there. And I got the checkpoint afterwards, so... I now missed three crates, I'm counting, to see if I would have gotten them all. Man, these, this polar bear section is mean. It's fine in Crash 2 when this is its own level, because that it's short. I don't have to. I don't have one attempt at this after a long platforming segment. I missed four, so I still would have been missing one crate that it was unaccounted for. Is that a fake Crash skin? I see those teeth. Actually, it tell, I think it tells me what the names of the skins are. I don't have to unlock them for that. It doesn't tell me the name of the skin, just where I can unlock it. Uh -huh. Well, we'll do art Artist Crash. <laughs> Fourth time's a charm. This is, this is the Cortex level. It looks so... It doesn't look that wrong, but it just looks wrong. Him being, like, tall. I don't like this Cortex's proportions. Crash Bandicoot. It's about time. This is going to be just like the old days. Except this time, 
Everything will go according to my plan. <laughs> I've made a few upgrades to my blimp. <laughs> Okay, we have a Cortex fight. Deadly missiles. Not much of a rain. Okay, there's a few of them, I'll give you that. Eggman would laugh at this display. Oh, ho, 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 that's cute. Punchbot Mark II, deploy! Fun fact, Punchbot Mark II is one better at punching. <laughs> Ow! Punchbot Mark II is for punching you, not me! No. If this were Eggman, the robots would explode or maybe be covered in spikes. Not whimsical boxing gloves. Oh, I have the time slow mask. I guess it, it's expecting me to have to use that at some point. I'm good. Who needs time slow? Time slow is for babies. Okay, we're gonna do this legit. We're not gonna use. We do not need the baby time slow. We are going to do this the manly, manly, man way. When the purple tornado comes, stand in the middle of them. Oh, I guess I can do that. I'm almost surprised they gave you the time slow for this. It seems in character for this game to just have this level of difficulty. Just no, no time slow. This should just be the normal boss. even give you checkpoints with every hit on the boss? What do you mean? I haven't time slowed once. This game is very forgiving with the bosses, actually. Look at Ripper who tell me to slow time. No, you don't know how this works, obviously. I don't need no time slow. Cortex has a track record of having pitifully easy boss fights. This is much easier than I'm making it by not using the time slow. Like, this is intended to be more, much more forgiving than the version I'm playing. But I came this far, I'm not gonna give up now. There should be an achievement for doing this without time slow. Except this is a Switch game, they don't have achievements. I just reminded myself that this isn't on Steam. Now I'm sad. Feel the wrath of Cortex. And Crunch was retconned. We don't have Crunch anymore. 
how will, how will we live without Mr. T Bandicoot to guide us? Oh, I was too far away. All right, he'll come to me. Not again. All right, we gonna team up now. Must we keep going around and around like this? Tell me, Crash. Is this all there is? Forever? No. I am usually unable to handle this simplest of tasks. Gloat all you want. I quit. It still Between looks a little off. Of island somewhere, alone. How fortunate. You see, I no longer have needs for our alliance. And I found a new partner and a new plan. You were scheming behind my back? Of course. The Rift Generator has capabilities beyond your meager imagination. You are content to simply rule over space and time, but I'd rather start from scratch, erase it all, wipe the slate clean. I'm going to reset the timeline and rebuild it to my liking. I will become a god, which means you won't exist. And neither will those feather-brained masks or those meddling marsupials. <laughs> but we already reset things once. You're gonna retcon again? Peacock? I'd like to see him try after I shove that tuning fork up his- But not if we get to him first. It appears we have a common enemy. Perhaps there's a way out of our endless cycle after all. <laughs> huh? Uh, okay. Um, <sighs> mm. It's all about the love, baby. All right, where are we going? How much we got? I assume we just unlocked Cortex levels. Or maybe we have to do at least one Cortex level before that happens. But where'd he go? Oh, there, there he go. Well, maybe I can at least, uh, we're in the Egipus dimension. 88 mil million before Crash Bandicoot. Where's, where's the third period? You lazy fucks. Maybe I can get to the Cortex level and unlock all of the other Cortex levels before I stop. Like, there's a Land Before Time Crash skin. Oh, that that doesn't look right. I don't like that. Wait, no, back. Oh, I should have changed skins. I'm done being French Crash. Nope, this is no place for a Frenchman. Oh, we were talking about uh, animation earlier. So Jack and I are watching through Steven Universe together. And there was a character outfit that reminded me of a old influential anime called Space Captain Harlock, I think it was. There will be a paper samurai. There was a character outfit that was very similar to that main character. So I looked up, I've never seen Captain Harlock, but I am aware of it. And I looked up a little more about it. There was a, uh, I think the main, the main villain was called Queen Reflesia, who was just like a one for one. Very similar to uh, another Steven Diamond, a Steven Universe character, Blue Diamond.
that and a few other things made it apparent that there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of there's some classic anime fans on that show's creative staff. Oh, it's one of those crates. Oh, I missed one? how they compromise doing a remake of uh, Wrath of Cortex and Twin Sanity. Eh. Well, I mentioned that, that there were similarities when this game was announced and details about it were revealed. I said, oh, we have the... We, so we have the masks from uh, Wrath of Cortex. And Cortex being playable is kind of a carryover from Twin Sanity. I don't think I'm gonna have fun with this level. I don't like these stop and wait plants. Wasn't the original Crash 2 and 3 Cortex Clancy Brown? It was Mr. Krabs, right? I know the current Cortex is Lex Lang, which he does he does a fine job of it, especially given what he's given of the character. I did like original Cortex a little bit better, and the way that he got at least a couple moments of, uh, like, actually being intense and intimidating. As opposed to since Lex Lang took him over, it's just he's just a joke all the time. I think it's, it's important to have a, a villain be at least a little bit threatening, at least sometimes. It doesn't have to be all the time. It's okay if they have like a, a goofy side to them, or even if they're goofy most of the time. But for them to be a good villain, they need to be threatening when it counts. Eggman and Cortex struck a very a, a good balance of uh, goofy and threatening in their earlier 3D games. Uh-oh. Oh, that was going away. Okay, there's a flashback tape on this level. Like what was the what was the the silliest Eggman got in the adventure games? I guess it was just kind of his his repetitive one-liners in the fight, like, No way! I can't believe this! I don't believe this! Which wasn't that silly. It was certainly a far cry from, like, the cartoon Eggman. Cartoon Robotniks. I've said it before, but Sonic X had the best, uh the best ver versions of almost every Sonic character. Uh-oh. Where Eggman was at once a joke to Sonic, but 
like a very serious threat to the ordinary humans of the show. Now what? Hmm. Even these bonus sections are brain scratchers. Or head scratchers, I guess. Don't don't scratch your brain. Oh, I should only get every other one of those boxes. Maybe. Well, I guess I'll have those for those for the way back. Or I'll have a uh, I'll have another red series of crates for the way back. Why did he not double jump? I swear I'm pressing the button twice. It's the game's fault. Speaking of being both goofy and threatening. Jack Spicer, the uh, like recurring mid-boss villain in Shaolin Showdown was surprisingly one of the best villains. In a show with a lot of good villains, Shaolin Showdown was great in the villains department. But, uh, Jack was all... He just won't double jump, and I don't know why. Jack Spicer was always treated as, like, a, a goofy joke character who wasn't particularly competent. But eventually, just by the fact that the show went on long enough for it to happen, he got results. Namely by conniving his way into cahoots with the other villains. His skill was networking. He was really, really good at that. I didn't, I didn't hit the thing that I needed to hit on the other side of that gap. God damn it. It's like if Team Rocket, like Jesse and James in Pokemon, over the, the 20 seasons of the Pokemon anime, connived their way into every evil villain team. With Team Magma and Team Aqua, Team Plasma, every one of them. And then got the last laugh at the end of the day by turning all of these plans against the, against the, the masterminds. You'd have to respect them if they pulled that off. That, that's Jack. That's Jack Spicer. I'm, I'm not thinking. I'm doing bad things here. Okay, so where's the thing that I have to activate in order to get those crates at the start of the level? At the start of the area? These, right here. I've activated them once, and I don't remember where the thing I need to hit to activate them is. I think it... It must be this one, and I, I didn't hit it previous time. Something about that jump makes Crash not want to double jump there. I don't know what it is, what aspect of the physics interferes with that. So let's jump off the first crate instead. Okay. 
So. Get these. I can go across the underside again. Oh! And then I need to get up to the... I need to get up there again. Let's save that right there. That, that'll be my recovery crate. I only need to save one. All right, here we go. Nope. Okay, we don't actually need to save any of them. Only at 50% of the fruit so far. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <gasps> Ooh, those fall. I didn't realize they fell. I got lucky there. I feel like there's gonna be some, like, very meanly hidden crates that these activate. See me spin a nitro. Madman. Oh boy, get rid of Whoop! What did I bounce on? Did I bounce on the guy? Because the guy didn't move. some time to come back. I don't know how I feel about these mask powers, to be honest. They're fine. They add to the game. They're kind of tedious, though. Like, in practice. I don't feel like I'm having a particularly high amount of fun using them. Oh, I don't have it anymore. The mask... It left me. In the presence of nitro crates. What a time to leave. <laughs> I like how the Terminator theme is casually mixed into this music. Dun 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 dun. dun. Jump left, crash! Nah, I meant right. Oh, there's a hidden gem. I saw it.
11 deaths. It's better than 33. Still a lot. I'm also getting slightly sleepy. That crash fatigue is setting in. Well, I don't need to get the hidden gem again. I only need to get it once. Thankfully, so don't have to worry about that sudden jump again, at least. So far, this vine section has not been too bad. The vine sections usually aren't. The polar bear section, that was kind of mean. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Alright, how'd we do? Missed three. No idea where they could be. We've gotten it exactly one all boxes gem this stream, as predicted. Maybe we can break the record. Maybe we can get two. We got one more level to do. We gotta see how Cortex plays. Fossil fueled. It's just it's just expected anymore. It's become a trait of these streams. You just you get to the end of the level, you don't expect to get every crate. As hard as you try. Never try. That's that's a Homer Simpson lesson. Let's see how these prehistoric predators like my blaster's new settings. Okay, so what's he got? He has shoot. He has headbutt, because you get it, he's got a big head. No double jump. He has an air dash. That's not something I expected Cortex to have. I guess it's his jetpack is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, his stature. Look how, look how, like, top-heavy he is. How broad-shouldered this Cortex is. Jump. Jump on crates. Be a bandicoot. Come on. Also, the inelegance in which he just pencil dives when he jumps. He gets, like, super air off of jump platforms, out of jump, jump boxes. <laughs> B or L to blockify. Well, who's laughing now? Okay. <laughs> Me. So, his gun destroys crates, but turns enemies into different types of blocks. I feel like we're messing with the evolutionary process here. Oh, that Cortex was allergic to Wumpas. Oh, he is. He'll, he'll just have the scream and shits later. Cortex levels will be very rare for this reason.
I guess I will just have to turn every enemy into a purple one. And assume that uh, there will be something high above them. A crate to jump to. A woman with nice, bouncy bags of ice for my head. <gasps> okay, I'm good. We're fine. Nothing wrong here. That's what I should have done. I like how even as blocks, the enemies still face you. Like, they're upset with you for what you've done. They just look at you with their pleading eyes. Please, change me back. I have a family. I cannot survive this way. with all his compassion. He simply looks at them, and he says, No! He dies. You really gotta know the exact distance that this dash gets in order to play Cortex effectively. some movie music, by the way. This is music I expect to hear in Jurassic Park, not Crash Bandicoot. Mostly when the trumpets come in. Ooh, I've never tried a volcano lair. Do good guys have volcano lairs? Hmm, much to learn. He's, he's got Aku Aku protecting him now. Friendship with Uka Uka ended. Well, friendship with maximum air quotes. Gotta get that distance just right. There is no room for forgiveness when playing Cortex. He lives a hard life. Man, 
Now, how come these plants are immune to being turned? All the other life that I shoot gets turned. Turned. I say that like, like, like I'm turning them into zombies. I don't, this might be worse. I don't think I want to be a block, particularly in a platforming game world. I played Emperor's New Groove. I know how they're treated. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be a time limit on them. Yeah, I'm not I'm not crazy about this so far. It's all people already complain about the depth perception required in Crash Bandicoot games. Now you got you got to not only have depth perception perception, you have to know exactly how far this specific move goes as well. It's a lot to expect. On second thought, no volcano lair. I can feel my nostril hair sizzling. Check over every enemy now. This is a nice looking spot. I like this spot. But the shots also seem to have a pretty long range. Assuming it's even finite. <laughs> Haven't seen mushrooms that big since I left the Gigantizotron running overnight. Okay. Uh, well, I hope I can make this. Yeah, I'm good. design here. Yeah, this part's not too bad. This 2D cortex section. <sighs> Please. Oh, I can see them. They're right there. See him? Yeah! Gem number two. We've gotten more than two gems, but these are the ones that matter. These are the all-boxes gems. What, what is that? Is that a... That's like a shark cocoa? He's so confident. He's got that beta... He's got that beta voice, but that alpha stamina. Or the, the way he carries himself. The stance. He's got the power stance. Alright, how many how many cortex levels? Experience Cortex's point of view. I know dash. I just want to see how many there are. If it's just the one, maybe I'll do that. So that I have one more level available to me to do off stream. But I, I wanna go back and check.
Probably would have pointed out if there were others. Alright, well, I guess it's just the one. Alright, change of plans. We'll do one more level. I'll, I'll do that Cortex level that we just unlocked. And that will be the final level of the stream. Party Gras crash. Any we didn't do. I guess we didn't do Paper Coco yet. Ship happens! I thought this was a kid's game. Wasn't there a similar pun earlier? It was like, life's a beach or something? Now you had that Coco skin called Bighorn Energy. The bandicoots are en route. I must reach the spot. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Oh, that doesn't fall. Good. I was worried that would sink when I stood on it. Oh, there's these fish I can shoot. I gotcha. Oh boy. Wait, is this the way to go? I guess the, I guess there are multiple routes. We got Sonic level design now. They don't really want me to, do they? Oh no. They do. That was mean. How dare you make me do that? This is a, this is a complex section. They want me to do a lot here. Whoops! Cortex's theme is too badass for modern Cortex to have. What, like his, uh, his Crash 2 theme? Oh, it is that, isn't it? It's a remix of his Crash 2 boss battle music. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh-oh! Man. It's like just failing to reach a lip as Spyro. Get it all? Well, there's more over there, but I gotta hit some kind of crate somewhere. There it is. <laughs> Hello, can I shoot you? I can't.
Okay, man, I played that, uh... I played that Rayman fan remaster, Rayman Redemption. Great game, by the way. Free, like, fan-updated, quality-of-life-fix version of Rayman 1. And, uh... One of the biggest improvements was a proper and very elaborate boss fight for Mr. Dark. Who, in the original game, basically didn't get a boss fight. It was a super cheap cop-out that the game played on you. You never got to punch the bad guy in the face. Imagine that with uh, Crash 2 Cortex. Just Crash 2 with Crash Bandicoot one through three bosses in general. I want to see a fan uh, fan hack that adds like really fleshed out difficult boss fights for all the original Crash bosses. That'd be cool. I would enjoy that. Should have done that a long time ago. Maybe not. This is a little bit precise. This might not be that practical. Uh-oh. We did get a surprising number of viewers during Rayman. We got, I think, we got raids for two of the streams of, of it. It must have a very dedicated uh, fan community. Which is nice. Boy, this seems like something they do, doesn't it? Hide something back here. In fact, they did do this. For uh, one of the previous... One of the Tauna levels. It wasn't this far back, but they hid a uh, hidden gem. You had to backtrack after the point that you took over as Crash or Coco again. No, they, would, they wouldn't send me this far back. Look what I can do. Aren't I a badass? Nope. Oh, I did actually make it. I'm good. We're fine. I just got a flashback to the uh, the waterfall sections of Donkey Kong Country 3. I don't remember much of that game. But I, I remember there was a section with a bunch of, like, beefy muscle butt dudes strolling around in front of a waterfall. Speaking of waterfalls... This isn't as hard as it looks. Oh, 
Oh, I killed him by accident. There's Kowalski. Poor bastard. Oh boy, where's the crate to activate this? It's up there, isn't it? No? Okay. Hmm. Whoa! I bet it's back here. Yeah, here we go. A safe platform, we can hang out, ride this on back. Well, there's more. There's a sequence of things I have to activate. Alright. I see what you want. I'll play your game. always get quiet towards the end. I just run out of shit to say. I thought the point of those boxes was that I would, like, stay up there long enough to refresh my time stop. Gotta push on through. Oh, these relics are gonna be fun, aren't they? Uh oh! We're fine. We're good. Everything is fine. We are still on track to get to the end of this level and miss a crate. Everything's going according to plan. Right, you get to live. I will I will sa save this fisherman. He's nice. He's cool. Good. Still fine. Oh boy. Uh, well, this looks like the way to go, so I guess I should go to the right first. Activate that. 
get this box. And this camera movement. It's nice to have a camera at all in Crash Bandicoot, but boy, you can't move it much. do not have the time slow, so I just got to do this the old-fashioned way. Do I, I got to come back for those ones? <gasps> ah! I got a second chance and I blew it. Oh, I got all the way back here. I'm sorry, fisherman. I was in a hurry. You were in the way. I just lost all that progress. do this. This is going to be the one. After this. Referring to this life. This life is going to be the one. I should see if uh, Sly Cooper runs any better than Ratchet on uh, PS2 emulated. Because Ratchet is what I've been testing with. Ratchet 1. Those are the those are the PS2 games that we have to do. Our, uh, we have Sly 3, Ratchet 4, and uh, Jack 2. Which Jack 1 very obviously ran poorly when we streamed it. No, those just failed to activate the previous time for some reason. Fine, got him this time. He's just, he's such a non-threat. He's just hanging out. He's not bothering anyone. What's he doing there? Maybe I can still get that. Yes! Ah! section of the level somewhere. Why is she all colorful like that? How come Paper Crash is all, like, white and gray, and Paper Coco is, is like, uh, all color-coded? That's not fair. Well, I guess that's that. We ended up with uh, two all-box gems. One more than I expected. So, hooray. A net gain. Uh, I'll probably continue playing this very infrequently on and off to uh, collect all the stuff on the levels we've played up till now. And uh, come back, continue the BCB world.
and any future worlds that come after that. I think we've got, like, two or three afterwards. I don't know. We'll see how much more of the game we have. Thanks for watching. I'll probably see you tomorrow with Jack for something.